Welcome to Hitman Box. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. So today, obviously, there was supposed to be a purse bid for the Kell Brook and Errol Spence fight. Uh, that has been pushed back for a week. Eddie Hearn seems to think that both sides are coming to an agreement, and very soon. Uh, he also mentioned that the only person that could break up these negotiations would be Amir Khan. Uh, obviously, Amir Khan is the bigger name. Uh, he brings about more money um, than Errol Spence could ever bring to Kell Brook. Uh, it's also a, a much easier fight. Uh, the thing is with Amir Khan, and let, let's just be honest, he's afraid of Kell Brook. One, that's the big thing. He's definitely afraid to fight Kell Brook. I don't think he wants to give Kell Brook that type of exposure. I don't think he wants to give Kell Brook that kind of payday. Um, to be honest with you, I don't ever see these two dudes fighting. Um, I mean, Amir Khan throws in his excuses. The only way he'd fight him uh, is if he'd fight Errol Spence. Um, and even if if um, Kell Brook were to win that fight, I still don't think that Amir Khan would take the fight. Um, Amir Khan's coming off a brutal knockout uh, against um, Canelo Alvarez. Uh, obviously, he's going to be looking for a tune-up, uh, an opponent that's easy work for him. So. Hopping in the ring with Kell Brook after getting knocked out like that, not going to happen. So all this really tells me is that this fight between Kell Brook and Errol Spence just might come to fruition. And I couldn't be more happy. You know, I got to give Kell Brook his props if he takes this fight, man, because Errol Spence is a young, hungry lion, man. Really, what's Kell Brook's incentive to take the fight? other than the fact that it's his mandatory. And if he wants to hold on to this belt, he's got to fight Errol Spence. You can call Errol Spence a hype job, but from what I've seen, it doesn't look like that to me. Um, obviously, he's just looking for somebody to give him an opportunity. And that's where you enter Kell Brook. Somebody's got to take that chance to fight Errol Spence because it seems like the other welterweights really don't want that work. Um, you know, Keith Thurman says he wants to unify the division. Um, I'm not sure if Danny Garcia, you know, personally, when it comes to Danny Garcia, you know, if he gets past Keith Thurman, I don't see him taking another tough fight. That's just me. Um, but to get back on track, Eddie Hearn said that the only person that could break up these negotiations is Amir Khan. Um, like I said, um, I don't see Amir Khan taking this fight for various reasons. Um, it probably wouldn't be a good look for his career. Um, if he loses to Kell Brook, he might as well just hang up his gloves, man, because that's it for him. You know what I mean? So, um, you know, obviously Eddie Hearn also wants Kell Brook to drop that belt and move up to 154. But his thing is, you know, there's a, a big lack of money fights at 154, uh, which is true. Um, if we're thinking in terms of money, if this is what he's thinking of. I mean, all the big fights are at 147 for Kell Brook. So, um, <laughs> you know, I've had my things to say about Kell Brook, and obviously, you know, it seems like he's been ducking Errol Spence, so, I mean, because look how long it's taken for this fight to get signed. I mean, I, I realize that he had that issue with his his orbital bone because he got his face broke by Triple G, but, you know, you fight Errol Spence, you're going to get your ribs broken, so it is what it is, right? I know the Kell Brook friends out there like, no, I don't sign that contract. They don't want him to sign this contract, man. They don't want to... They don't want him to fight Errol Spence. Deep down inside, they know what time it is. It's man down. Kell Brook, gonna be in, Kell Brook is going to be laying on that apron, writhing in pain in front of all of his fans in the U.K. I think it's going to be hilarious. It'll be hilarious if Errol Spence goes in there and takes that IBL strap. Then nobody's going to want to fight him if that happens. And same goes for Kell Brook. If he wins, he's definitely not going to get a big fight. So... <laughs> I mean, it's just so many pros and cons of this fight, man. It's ridiculous. So, um, but yeah, Amir Khan's not even going to get in the way of this. This this article's pointless. Amir Khan's already gone on record saying he's not going to fight, or he has no interest in fighting Kell Brook at this time. So, we will have to see where it goes from here, man. Hopefully, these dudes can make a, you know, sign these contracts so we can get this fight at some point in the next what three to five months. So. We'll see, man. Uh, I'm excited for this. Y'all should be excited, too, man. This is a good fight for boxing. If it's not, if you don't think it's a good fight for boxing, you're lying to yourself and you're not a true boxing fan. Drop a comment, hit me on boxing. I'm out.